Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome to Wall World. I think you're really gonna like this. This is coming out April 5th, so we're a couple of days early. Very cool that we get to check this out. And uh, it's similar in nature to uh, Dome Keeper. So if you're like me and you love these mining roguelikes, then you're gonna be right at home here. Big difference is that our base moves, because it's not a base, it's a robo spider. You find these little chunks that you can tear into and create these mines. You go in, you start mining, you find resources, uh, but you don't have to bring them back as often as you do in something like Dome Keeper. You suck them up and then you deposit them when you return. We do get attacked and we have to uh, defend. So let's go ahead and do this. We're fighting on a vertical, which is uh, different for sure. Keep an eye on the bottom left section there. It's gonna show us health, it's gonna show us our uh, wave timer. And just like in something similar to Dome Keeper, we've gotta just explore and try to find as many resources as we can. Uh, once we get sick of this area, we can move our entire base to go and check out different sections. And uh, I've only demoed this for like five minutes. I was like, yep, I am into it. This is great. So I'm hoping that this is cool. There's a lot of like um, between run progression as well. Persistent upgrades that you're going to do uh, based on the resources you're collecting in the top right. So there's some in run things like the blue resources that have, of course, dropped to the bottom here. I'm curious if I can get anywhere else. This is already pretty, we're pretty full. Let's go drop this off. I'll come back and pick those up. I'll see if there's anything left on the right. So those blue and gray resources, those are in-run upgrades that we can make that we'll take a look at in a second here. But I feel like, I feel like we could check this upper section here maybe. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Let's take this. Let's go back and get ready to defend. I don't know what that other column represents yet. But if we connect here, we can look at our upgrades really quick. So we've got machine gun upgrades, exosuit upgrades, and robo spider upgrades. We can also find different upgrades in the mine, as you would expect. Um, but early on, we probably want to take things like rotation speed, fire rate, things like that. Exosuit wise, we can have faster movement, we can have extra drill range, we can do drilling efficiency here. And then our robo spider is using some different gems that we don't have access to yet. We can do repairs, we can do ceramic crystal research, unlock the repair talent, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then you can see that goes down into here. And some of these connect, some of them don't, but for now, let's go ahead and take the enhanced bearings and we'll take the machine gun belt for the fire rate. And then getting extra damage would obviously be nice. There's another resource in the top, top right, this, we're at 132 right now. And uh, that's what we're going to use for upgrades between runs. There's also a timer in the top middle of the screen. Uh, so I don't know what happens if we hit that timer or not, but we'll try and find out. Controls are a little bit different from something like Dome Keeper. And forgive me, I'm going to compare to Dome Keeper a lot just because of the similarities. But I feel like the game is doing enough to also stand on its own. Okay, you can jump into the spider anytime, go along the wall and search more promising mines. So let's do that. Um, part of the part of the lore here, let's exit this mine, is that there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of stories as to is there an edge to this wall in this kind of post-apocalyptic world, and maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Uh, maybe the elders have been lying to us the whole time. We don't know anything. We don't know a thing. Also, we don't know if we should check every mine, but I'm going to for now until we figure out a reason why we shouldn't. And notice the wave timers happen while you're climbing the wall as well. Uh, all of the timers are running and you can even shoot while you're on the move. So if you get attacked while you're moving the Robo Spider, then you can just throw down, which is kind of cool. A little bit of a different approach there. Okay, let's take this. Let's just get all this stuff back. I'll maybe drill this out real quick. Okay. If you're gonna be that generous, I'll take it. Okay, we're full. Let's see if I can get any other uh, decent upgrades here. 
12 and 4 I'm at. So I think we'll take damage. I don't want to neglect my exosuit, of course, but uh, let's take damage right now. I feel like we're drilling pretty efficiently. Uh, we'll have to see if that comes back to bite us or not. But um, I think we're good. Okay. Also, I think this game lends itself really well to playing on, like, a mouse and keyboard. You can see just from, like, the reticle, I'm actually aiming that with my right, uh, my right stick. I am playing with a controller for this, but you could very well play with a, um, keyboard and mouse and just aim. It might even be a little bit more efficient in that way. Okay, so there's another mine I noticed very close to where we're at. Um, that said... I feel like since I'm here, I should at least explore it. And it'll be interesting to see what kind of mining patterns we need to get into. I don't know if some of these sections can be much larger than others, or if they're all gonna... Oh, hello. X. Okay. You found schematics. A forced cartridge feed, plus 20% machine gun fire rate and 80% bullet spread? So that's just like a, that's like just an upgrade. It's schematic, so I don't know if I need to do anything with that. We'll take a look at our upgrades when we get back to the Robo Spider, of course. Now there is, so you can't, <laughs> you can't blow and suck at the same time. You have to stop shooting and then start sucking. Now, I know that's going to be hard for some of you guys, but I'm just saying it's something to be aware of, okay? So now that that's all out here. I feel like this mining section is pretty small. I may also be, like, in a sort of opening tutorial zone, too. I have no idea. We're totally winging it. But I feel like this would be a good time to go to the next mine. Plus, we found a cool little uh, hiding weirdo back there. So that's always fun. All right. Let's see. So... I wonder if those schematics... Oh, yeah, here. So it's it's already upgraded. Force cartridge feed. Yeah, cool. Okay. So that may have been down here as something we could upgrade. But then, because we found that, we've unlocked it. Let's go a little bit of this. We're going to go some movement speed in the mines. And then I'm got, I've got three blue, one gray. I don't know what these are called yet. I'm sure there's a word for them. But uh, for now, let's just get ready to battle, I think. And actually, let's do this. Let's start moving towards the next mine. And we'll still be able to defend here. If they attack. We can dock. Okay, where are they at? I can't talk to enemy diversity yet. I know uh, early days of Dome Keeper, that was something that we were kind of left to want more of. You can see um, that schematic may not have been as awesome as it sounded only because your bullet spread is so much bigger, but if things are close, then great. You can see our health in the bottom left there, the green. That's something to be aware of. Okay, let's see if we can find anything special in here. Okay. What is this? Day 53, I cracked and started hammering the wall with my pickaxe. As a result, the pickaxe got stuck in the water hole. Try as I might, I couldn't pull it out, but at least the knocking stopped. <laughs> okay, we got we got lore. This is sick. I like that a lot. Okay. It got stuck in the watering hole. I couldn't pull it out. Is that can I suck it out? Is there, a, is there a special thing? Okay, I can just... I can take the gems. There's that. But it seems like that's it. I'm not getting anything else. Very neat. Okay. Okay. I like... That is exciting. That is cool. Uh, what do I have? I've got two green... Let's call them emeralds now. So this will restore 15% HP. I'm going to need one more, of course. But just saying. Uh, I could do something like a better gun rotation speed. Which seems like it could be pretty nice. Um, plasma drill range could be good. Drilling efficiency. Maybe I take this. Just to make sure we don't fall behind there. Okay. Let's keep going. 
Now, over time, it'll be fun to see if there's ways to kind of decipher where you should pop in or out. Like, right now, I feel like I'm going to stop at every possible mining spot, right? This one, obviously a little bit further along than the distance between the previous two. So, is that good? Is that bad? I, there's obviously not much for me to do with the other ones. So, like, I kind of have to go here and, and hunt. So, gameplay-wise, yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit different. And I don't know if there'd be, like, I don't know if there would be hidden mining slots or not. Okay, now I'm, now I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna battle. This guy's got rock shields. Okay, how much of a problem is that guy gonna be on my left? I'm keeping an eye on my health. I'm just kind of praying and spraying right now that amount of spread is actually hurting me. And there's a pretty good chance that in order to be successful, like this actually feels like pretty intense. Uh, this may be like a kind of a forced final wave for our first run, we'll see. Yeah, we're, we're totally screwed here. There's not much I can do. Okay, so that's fine. We're gonna get some upgrades. We're gonna get some upgrades and we're gonna go back in and see if it feels any better or any different. So here's some of the upgrades that we can get. We have 276 uh, resources. So spider durability increasing by pretty significant margin. Sounds pretty good. Uh, resource vacuum cleaner capacity so you can carry more. A plasma drill. When entering a new mine, the spider will automatically drill three blocks. That's cool. Allows the spider to make a quick dash down the wall. Oh, why would you want to go down the wall? I've, I just thought I'm only going to be going up the wall. Increases the interval between enemy waves by five seconds. Okay, so this is like hard changes to the game. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to actually switch to keyboard and mouse here and just see if that feels any different. I, I, like, I like the navigating a little bit easier. Spider speed here. We've got an extra section as well. This is all classified stuff we're going to have to unlock. Okay. Okay. Let's take, let's take the outer shell here. This also now changes to a bigger upgrade. All right, so that's clearly the first one we should be taking. Let's get back in there and let's see if there's anything different now. That feels like that wave, there's probably no way I'm gonna defeat that. Um, and that was what, at about 13 minutes left or something? So we'll see. Okay, enter the mine with R, let's go. Now, part of me, part of me wants to go down and see if I can find anything south on the wall. This kind of feels like it might be worthwhile scanning, like, for the edges and then knowing how big of a space you're working with and maybe mining it all out, maybe not. There is different density of the, of the rocks. As you can tell, something similar to Dome Keeper. I just love that this is a genre. I actually love this stuff, and I can't really explain why. It's just really fun. And you never you never really know what you're getting into. Okay, uh, let's connect really quick. I just want to look at my upgrades for a second. So, these all reset. That makes total sense, okay? I still think gun rotation speed's cool. And actually, that schematic for the uh, or the one that we found is, in fact, not in here as a potential upgrade. So probably something you can only get um, via finding it. There's also, I know, added sections that we can find to this. And then you will unlock other things to then, to then upgrade. Uh, let's just take this for now. See if I can find anything else. Check the edges here. I don't know how big these are. And I, we seem to see them, like, if we mine a, a section here through the middle, we would see them along the edges. So we can kind of keep that in mind for how we're uh, prioritizing things. Okay. Let's go to town. Yeah, I, w I would venture to say that the mouse feels a little bit more natural because we have this aiming reticle. But play around with it. 
I'm just gonna check the bottom section of this and see. It seems like you probably want to do every second row because the mining sections seem a bit smaller and that would make sure that you don't really miss anything, but I'm gonna take this and we're gonna move. So let's connect. Let's check our upgrades. All of the all the times pause when we're doing the upgrades, which is nice. Um, movement speed in the mines. Let's go actually drilling efficiency. I have to imagine these mines get much larger, which would then in incentivize you to want the higher move speed. Because right now, I don't really need it. The mines are pretty small. Um, but let's keep that in mind. So I've got five and three left there. Let's exit the mine. And let's ascend the wall. Who's gonna... <laughs> who's gonna descend? Why would you... Why would you descend? Never. Always descend. Okay, let me in. Now, getting that upgrade that blasts out, like, um... You know, three chunks of this right away would be pretty cool. I think a lot of those things are just gonna be nice to have. So then if you go to start, like, a new profile playthrough, it's gonna feel... Very bizarre, and you're like, man... All those upgrades that we earned really did make a big difference, you know? And, like, maybe you... Yeah, like, see, you've got some kind of mazy situations here. Maybe you do want to just clear the entire border so you know for sure that nothing is being hidden or missed. Because I could see, like, one of those sections being something pretty major. Okay, let's go into... Let's go into extra damage and extra rate of fire. And it sounds weird, but I kind of don't want to find that schematic that we found last time because that spread kind of messed things up a little bit. At least that's what I'm going to blame it on. Guilt-free. Okay, let's go back in. Also, I... Oh, I don't want to do that. Don't exit the mine. Get back in there. Valuable time wasted. I like that zoomed-out view where you can kind of see... You can kind of see the whole dig that you've done. I'm going to clear this one so that we can start to learn what to expect. See, like up here, I was expecting this would be blocked, but it is not even close. So maybe there's a lot more to these sections. Like, look at this. Okay, yeah, this is cool. This one goes deep, so the other one below us could have could be deep as well. And then it's like, all right, not just minerals, but there's also um, there's also those schematics that we could find, different robo parts. We definitely need to up the capacity of our cannon for carrying. That's going to be one of our big limiting factors here. It seems. Let's just drop those in. I'll make another run here now. As far as I can tell, I'm not being slowed when I'm carrying more uh, resources. But there is something that happens there where it kind of like, you start sucking them towards you. And they go behind you. I am late, for sure. But look at my durability bar now. It's just massive. So, I don't know. Will I pay for this? Probably. This is probably not ideal. Also, what are these? They're like squishy little insect aliens. I'd want to say the word cute, but I'll throw up on my mouth a little bit, so I won't. Okay. Well, in the name of science, we're going to continue excavating everything. If there's some in the middle here, I'm not too worried about that, but the edges now, definitely I'm interested in seeing, like, what the full layout of these mines are. Okay, this looks like it's going to be all the way across, but I would be wrong. There may be some little hints that we can glean from, like, the way the pieces connect and stuff, but so far I'm not seeing anything super concrete. No pun intended. Okay, we'll 
we'll take some of these back. Now, one thing that is a little bit more challenging. I'm trying to, like, bring these back so that they're closer. One thing that's a bit more challenging uh, is that you can't really select which things you're picking up. I don't know if that's an option for later. But um, when I say that, I'm, I'm, of course, comparing it to, to Dome Keeper. Which is the most obvious comparison here, but... This feels already, like, significantly different. Okay. Do I have any worthwhile upgrades here? 25. Let's go, um, rotation speed. I'll go exosuit speed. And that seems cool. Uh, we've never even seen these color gems or these ones, so... Maybe, maybe that's, like, the higher up the wall you go, the... You'll find, like, different kinds of gems or something. So that's encouraging you not to spend as much time in an individual mine. But this is all I'm just... I'm just hypothesizing at the moment. That's all I can do is posit a hypothesis. Okay, I'm going back in here. I want to see if there's an end to this specific mine. And if our long-term digging here will pay off. My gut tells me this is not recommended, but... Okay. What is that? I don't know, but we're gonna bring it... We're gonna bring it back with us, I think. How much time I got? I'm about halfway. So we must get some type of shield ability or something. Or maybe like an activatable thing that uses energy. That's kind of what that's looking like. I feel like we may have reached the end. Okay. So that's this whole section. but And we did actually find something. So this is cool. Let's take this back. Let's see what kind of lottery we've won. Or maybe it's a curse. You found the overdrive is allowed to accelerate by pressing shift. Oh, okay. I like, I like this. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Okay, it's got to recharge, obviously. And now, yes, I'm going to take some extra damage, but this is all, this is for science. This is for science. Yeah, so this whole top bar has to reload before you can use it again. Yikes! It's fine. Look at our look at our endurance. It's only now just starting to take a hit. This is this is great. Okay, the skies are extremely busy. Is this worth it? Probably not. That's probably a bad call. Let me get this little pile here. We're gonna survive, and that's cool because we're crossing over the, the 10 minute mark. Um, I think we're gonna exit the mine. We're gonna look for other things. Yes, there's a couple of minerals that I left in there, but that's fine because I what I need to look for is a way to repair this thing now. And even if we lose this, like if this run doesn't go well, like that's okay. Because we're starting to we're starting to learn what we're supposed to do. We're starting to learn what feels right. We're starting to learn efficiencies. We're starting to learn how many resources we're bringing back. Like we're basically getting those top level six sixteen resources just by destroying blocks, right? And then the other things are the drops. Okay, this is a large space between man. I also wonder if there's an advantage to fighting when you're on the move. Like, can you kind of outrun the guys that are below you? But then you're, of course, closing the gap to the people that are above you. I don't know. I, okay, I don't know, but... Okay, so this... These guys are what destroyed us last time. And they could very well destroy me again here. Do I have upgrades I could do, by chance? No, I need greens there. I need 14 and 8 there. I need 12 and 2, whatever those are. Like, we got a whole bunch of extra stuff here. 
I have no clue how that's going to work. Yeah, we're not clearing this. Okay, so this is around the 10 minute mark. There seems to be a pretty intense wave that we need to kind of plan for. So that amount of time that we spent in that second mine was probably a little bit aggressive. Um, that said, we can probably unlock some extra stuff here. So the rocket launcher allows you to launch a... Yes, I would love to launch a homing missile, obviously. Rocket launcher two. Fires a Predator. Yeah, Predator Missile sounds better than homing. So our next cheapest unlock would be this $1,000 hook. Make a quick dash down the wall. Maybe that's something you can use in combat. Like, um, I'm not sure. And then also, how do you find all these things? I don't know. But guys, I am, I'm, I'm, in, I'm into this. I think we're going to full play through this right now. So if you guys are interested, if you could like this video, that helps a lot. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Share this video with all of your closest friends, family, and grandmas. And that's it. That's all, actually. I've asked you for a lot, and uh, you don't owe me anything. Have a good one. Love you. Bye.